morning, YouTube. So I wanted to continue this look at the PERC data EPG or Electronic Program Guide. This is a pretty good web page I found a couple years ago. It's on the Montgomery One blog site and they have a pretty good HTPC home theater PC guide and it, it's been updated in the last year and they talk about all the things you need to consider when setting up a home theater PC or in general uh, some sort of media server. I'm actually moving away from the home theater PC and putting all that functionality on my Synology NAS. This article has a lot of good information and you can see here they're talking about using Kodi and then this uh, middle icon is Media Portal and they mention Schedules Direct which is a provider of electronic program guide data that is one option and if you go down here they they have a lot of good information as I mentioned so down here they talk about the hard part. So it turns out the easy part these days to get your television signals, if you're doing over the air TV, you just stick a piece of wire up in the air, plug that into the antenna cable on your TV or your tuner box or card, and you have the signals. And if you have cable or satellite, you just plug your tuner into the coax that uh, has your cable or satellite signals. So that's the easy part. That's just plug and play for the most part. The hard part is getting the program guide data because if you don't have an electronic program guide, you're back into the old video cassette recorder model. If you remember back in those days, if you wanted to record a program, you had to look up in a TV guide to find out when it was on. Then you had to go to the VCR, set the channel, set the time and the date to start the recording and then set the end time and make sure you plugged in a tape that had enough room on it. And then after that recording was done, you had to pull the tape out of the machine and find a pen and then you had to write the name of the show on the on the label so you could remember what it was the modern dvr that you can do on your pc or your nas if you have an electronic program guide all you have to do is click on the show and click the record button the hard part is getting that data in many countries in Europe, there's very good EPG solutions in North America, US and Canada. That's a little bit harder to do because there's no one central repository, so to speak. There's many repositories that all have different uh, kind of data. One option is using Microsoft's Windows Media Center and if you do that, it has built-in program guide data that is supplied through Media Center. It used to come from a site called zap to it and it now comes from Rovi. If you're not using Windows Media Center or using that in conjunction with something else, you may need to find a different uh, program guide source and with Microsoft phasing out support for Windows Media Center, like it's no longer officially available on Windows 10. Over time, they're probably gonna start dropping various features like the program guide. If that stops, you're dead in the water. So that's why I'm looking for a new solution. So it's interesting, this article talks about schedules direct they're not quite accurate in saying that it's the only online service. Perk Data is another one. And they're also partly correct here. It says, for sure, Schedules Direct only supports open source software projects. That's true. Media Portal is one they do support. Interestingly, though, Kodi is one that they don't officially list on their supported apps and we'll take a look at that here in a minute. So this is Schedules Direct 
and you can see it's a nonprofit organization to benefit the open source software and free software. They currently uh, offer this $25 a year uh, subscription, and they're, they're really focused on open source software. And over here, if you look at this open source software list, here's their programs that use schedules direct and for instance here's media portal that that blog post uh, talked about but if you look down here you will not find cody listed there's myth tv there's xml tv cody is open source but it's not listed so i don't really know exactly what the the implications you know like Okay, if I'm going to use Media Portal, that's listed. But if I use Media Portal on a Windows PC, is that still open source? I've got an open source program running on a closed system, or do I have to run this on Linux? Or if I run Myth TV on my Mac, is that still considered open source or if I run XML TV to grab data that Cody uses is that within the uh, terms of, uh, of use or you know it it gets kind of messy there so if we go back here and look at the history they talk about this Tribune media services and zap to it so there was some discussion of that so we can go here and look at uh, Tribune Media Services so it's a syndicated company owned by the Tribune company who was big in the publishing business news was the main Tribune company and then this entertainment products was part of Tribune Media Services they ran the uh, zap to it site Tribune Media Services was acquired by Gracenote, who does a lot of uh, electronic program guide type things. For They work with a lot of the cable and satellite operators. I think they supply DirecTV with their program guide. It turns out uh, Gracenote was acquired by Nielsen just at the end of 2016, and through all of that, this zap to it site that used to be part of Tribune, that became part of Gracenote, that is now part of Nielsen, was shut down. And I think that's the reason that uh, Microsoft switched to Rovi for their program guide data. So yeah, it's a quite a roundabout story, but then there's this perk data, which I showed you in the previous video that is pretty much the same setup as schedules direct but perk data is aimed at the non open source software or hardware market so they're affiliated or working in conjunction with gracenote and so perk data is just out there to uh, provide this Gracenote data outside of the official corporate services like a DirecTV or you know, whichever cable operators, they probably have special connections to Gracenote. So PERC data is something that the average home media server person can access. And I showed you this in the last video, so that's PERC data. It was kind of a jumbled history. You had Tribune Media Services that ran the Zap to it site. And when they decided to scale that back, then Schedules Direct was formed to provide that feature that was available on the Zap to it Labs program. And then Tribune Media Services was acquired by Gracenote, and that's where PERC data came from. So they're partnered with Gracenote to provide the program guide data, and they are then partnering with DVB Logic to provide EPG data for the DVB Link server. And then Gracenote has been acquired by Nielsen, so quite a... Uh, 
tumultuous history there. This has all happened in the last roughly 10 years that all of these things have been going on. But at least now there seems to be a legitimate, legal, and supported option to get program data from PERC data. You can configure your data and you can report problems with it. This should be pretty good data. It's the same data that uh, DirecTV is getting access to. So it's, uh, I think, a pretty good value. So yeah, in the next video, we'll take a look and see what the Windows Media Center program guide data looks like compared to PERC data. We'll just look at that and see how they compare. So Stay tuned for that video. If you have any uh, questions, post up in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.